Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Here we're going to try and do this printout that I did from the paintology.com website and I've just printed it out through my smartphone and it's on an A4 sheet of paper and I've picked these colors that I've had for a while sitting doing nothing and I thought I would make use of these colors to paint this. But I want to show you all the steps to getting a printout from your mobile phone and obviously it will be different for your phone but uh, this one was on my P30. So I'll go ahead and show you from the beginning what I did to have this printout and then go ahead and complete the drawing using these pens and hopefully show you how you can enjoy paint by numbers with Paintology. Here's my P30 smartphone and I have opened to the uh, drawing that we're going to download and print out. So I'm on the Paintology.com website and you'll find this particular drawing of the horse under the tutorials and paint by numbers category. So the first thing you want to do is of course uh, you'll have to have the printer setting ready wirelessly connected to your printer and you should have an app with this and so my app is connected to my Canon printer and this is an app available from the Canon download and it's and I'll show you the whole process so the first thing you want to do is go to paintology.com open up tutorials and then paint by numbers and then you want to click on this and this particular image as you can see opens up to be a larger image here and then you can click download but before we do that obviously this is the completed drawing and we need the canvas so we'll go back okay as you can see there's lots of drawings let me locate the drawing here Oops, here it is so get the adverts out of the way so we go to this particular tutorial click on the the tutorial. Let's locate the canvas. So we can find the canvas template which is here and then click on that so it opens up. If it doesn't that's fine. Then all you can do is press on that for a while and then you'll have an option to download the image which we click on that. And then we go home, open up files and open the go to download section and then the downloads area and here you can see I have the the horse canvas drawing opened up here and then in my situation I have a more here link here and then I click that and then I open in app and then I click on the Canon you can see here my Canon printer is installed here Click on that and then it's all been set up for the A4 printing and it's going to take up the full full uh, page. It's, uh, it's quite good actually because if you have a landscape picture it actually fits it into the landscape so you don't have to worry about fitting onto the page. And then just simply click print and then it will send it off to the printer and it will print out. So you can probably hear it working on the background. So now I'm going to show you the actual printout that I did earlier. This is the printout. And now I'm going to use um, these felt tip pens in my uh, tools, drawing tools uh, box. And then I thought I would use these colors. Notice that I haven't been able to find the exact colors but what I do have are close colors because this is a not a realistic drawing that we're trying to do true to likeness. It's more of a psychedelic uh, drawing of a horse. We can pretty much use any kind of these colors. So I will be in the next step going ahead and just using these colors which, I, which I'm going to use to mark the paint. So, so we'll do that next. 
Hello and welcome back and here is my completed drawing that I did using those uh, felt tip pens I showed you earlier. <clears throat> so I went about it, just to tell you a little bit about how I went and completed the drawing is um, a little bit more uh, than just doing the paint by numbers. So I followed the broader colors starting from the bigger swaths, swaths of um, regions, you know, the big colors and the bigger regions easier. Then I gradually worked my way down to the smaller, tinier regions. And then um, after that, uh, I did notice that uh, some of the colors that I used from the original palette was a little darker. So in a way, I felt that the, that the horse didn't really stand out as much. And if you look at the original paint by numbers, if you use the co correct color palette, the horse is quite distinct from the background. So, you know, I had to think a little hard about this. And what I decided to do was um, use the uh, Tipex, the white, and also the black to enhance the contrast. This is a trick uh, most artists use when they want to accentuate a particular area of their painting. They would uh, typically uh, use the contrasting method of bringing out some features and pushing back some of the other features. So I couldn't exactly push back the uh, background because it's already a little darker. But what I did was I focused on the outline and also used the Tipex which was um, use the tipex is the white so I didn't have anything really a white felt tip as such so I used the tipex of the white and you can see it dotted around the background and then use some of the black to accentuate the horse and if you look at it um, I could have also did the put some more darker patches here in order to make it stand out more but I felt some dark patches here and around here was necessary for me to um, bring the horse out otherwise it's melded into the the background so that's just to show you that even though you're doing a paint by numbers it's an excellent way for you to lay down the original colors and then expand on that art piece and improve on it by simply going over it and using some freehand style of painting. So this was done with felt tip pens and I feel that if I used ac acrylics it uh, may have been a bit more uh, control over the colors and bring it to the true originality of the of what this paint by numbers was intended for. So <clears throat> again um, you know this is an excellent way to show you how to use the Paintology and website in order to download the template, print it out and do it using the traditional method. I'm going to go ahead later on and show you another video where I actually do this particular drawing on the uh, app itself and then I will print it out so you can see and compare what the two are like. So I have a I already have an idea, even though I have not tried it, but the uh, the printing out of the actual app drawing, which I usually uh, I don't I haven't done before, but it can be done uh, because only because I'm showing you this traditional method of paint by numbers, where you can go to the paint Paintology website and download all the templates for you to try out. So this was my intention for this video. I hope you do. You've learned something, one or two things on this uh, video, and uh, please um, uh, help me to increase my subscription and uh, subscribe and give me a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. I don't, I'm not sponsored by anyone or any particular uh, company. So this this is entirely my own work, and I hope I, I hope to bring you more of this type of work and anything in art related. So uh, please visit my YouTube channel and uh, give me a, a thumbs up and uh, and a subs and subscribe. That'd be excellent.
Hope to see you again soon. Thank you and bye-bye.